All right, welcome to the Dreiss Lab. The mad scientist himself, Scott Ailes. Um, he showed us OSFO, right, which we were all excited about. This is OSFO on steroids. Right? So this is a phosphoric acid solution. Um, this is called the TIG brush. So tell us what this thing is all about. How does this thing work? Like, what, what, are, we, what are we doing here? I see there's phosphoric acid. Um, you showed me, I'm cheating here because we played with it the other day. Don't, don't look at this yet. We're gonna show you, we're gonna blow your face off. So what is this thing? How does this work? So it's a little bit of a magic box. Like, I can't tell you what's inside there. It's sealed, it doesn't need ventilation. It plugs into 110 volt. Mm -hmm. uh, it has negative positive leads, just like a welding system would have. And you turn it on and we're gonna set it to single brush and clean. You can clean, polish, or print if you wanna stencil your name on stuff. But it's in the cleaning scenario, we have a carbon fiber brush that we dip in a form of phosphoric acid, acid, a special solution that the company sells. These are the carbon fiber brushes. This particular machine, there's several out there. This is, in our opinion, the OG spec best one. So this is the TG or TBE 550. Yeah, right. It's how much is this thing? So we have a package that we put together with the company that okay. we recommend for automotive, especially exhaust systems. Mm -hmm. It's the right machine, the right tools, the right accessories. It's forty-one hundred dollars. That's okay. what it's going to be. For, and that, that gives you, you machine, need. the leads, the this stuff, which is the phosphoric acid solution. Correct. And then this, which is the neutralizer. And and um, the coolest thing about this, so you blew my face off yesterday. So this is a permanent. Thing. Yeah, so we're removing carbon deposits on the surface of the metal. People kind of get confused and they miss the fact that all of this stainless steel, like stainless steel, what the heck? Uh -huh. Why is stainless steel rusting? Right. Well, it's because there's carbon deposits from the stamp that made this part. Okay. So it impregnates on the surface and then you drive the car around, it gets hot, water, hot cold, hot and it cold, starts rusting. Hot cold. Yep. Okay. So you remove those carbon deposits with this which was originally designed for weld cleaning welds. Right. So we're, you know, just like. So it's designed for cleaning welds so they could spot check that, or certify. And just visually be more appealing. Like okay. our, our tank, our stainless chart liquid CO2 tank is all mm. beautiful. Like you can't see the welds. Okay. Well, they clean it with a device like this. Mm. Okay. okay. So the, the beauty is it's not going to return to this state we don't know long term. We're, we're testing it now. We've cleaned the system. We're running. We're seeing what's happening. But so far, mm -hmm. it's holding. Yeah. So that's because you're taking the product off that's causing the visual colorization. Okay. So how do we set this thing up? So you so, got some old man ingenuity going on here, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's got. This doesn't come with the kit. No, it doesn't. Get, you got to buy your own tarp strap. Okay. I don't have. That's those. probably from 1975. It's my old stash. Okay. Okay. So this is gonna. We're gonna bring it over here because we're gonna do that other side of the garage. I don't. Let me see how I. I mean, I'm a. I'm a modern gentleman here. I don't know how to use these things. Let me see. Let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, so you hang ground, just a typical ground lead. So we're going to always want to make sure that the ground lead. So battery's disconnected. Correct. We don't want to nuke the whole electrical electronic system. system. We want to always work behind the ground. Okay. Like if the exhaust system is here, I want the ground as close to the farthest point that I'm going to clean as you get. If this is the tailpipe, you don't want to put the ground on the tailpipe. So you're clipping it to like the header bolts? Header, header, the actual header bracket, you know, the, the manifold piece. Gotcha. It's a really nice. If you okay. if you don't get a good ground, you'll know it because it won't work. Okay. It Got won't it. spark. It won't arc. Got which it. is what you're about to see. Okay. So phosphoric acid solution. You prefer single brush. I do. So they have a single brush, dual brush, long brush, short brush, right? Yeah. Yeah. If there's a you you get with the kit the long and the short shroud for the brushes. Mm -hmm. Here's the long shroud. Okay. And the short shroud is already on. So it basically supports the carbon fiber brush, which is, that's the hardest part. You don't want to bend the brush over mm -hmm. and touch the side of the brush like that. Okay. Because it burns the, the, the filaments And then it early. falls off. And yeah. it's, you wasted the brush. So you always want to work on the tip. Got it, okay. All right? Because so, the brush is a consumable. You're it is, Burning yeah. through it. Correct. All right, so All right. how do we do this? All right. Pretty dang simple. Okay, so we dip it, dip in, the, it in the, in the juice. Yep. That's phosphoric. That's this. Correct. That's this stuff. Okay. 
I like to always have a rag catch the drips. And so, no, this is not poisonous to breathe. I actually find it quite pleasant. I think it's the association of the effect, what's happening. I like it so much. What does that smell, smell like? Something from my childhood. I don't know. It's really cool, though. I um, like it. <laughs> it's not solder. I don't know. It might be the flux. What does that smell from? Is it like um, like battle tanks? What am I getting that smell from? So I just cleaned it. Now I'm going to spray it with water first. Wipe it off. Pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to neutralize it. I'll wipe that off. And the last thing I do is rinse it one more time with water. So now, because the carbon's been removed, you say it's not going to come back. I would not say that because okay, I okay. haven't definitively tested it for three years. Okay. We just discovered this, one of our Patreon members, uh -huh. hey, has anybody tried this machine? So, you know, you, you had an impression on me and so I, I took your style. Little, I'll buy it. Somebody's got to fall it. on the sword, <laughs> somebody's right? Somebody's got to do it. So uh, I had Deborah pay retail for it and, and we just fell in love with it instantly. The concept of OSFO came from a, a phone call with an Orlando plater that introduced me to the concept of passivation. That's what mm -hmm. we're doing here. Mm -hmm. This is a passivation process. He said, oh, just bring me the exhaust system and I'll dip it for you and it'll look great. I'm like, I'm not taking the freaking exhaust system off. Mm -hmm. The whole idea of what we do here is to clean stuff without taking it apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little different because this is a more modern than what you're normally working on. So you're in a lot of you can't buy an exhaust. I don't take that personally. <laughs> hey, you're working on old, old man old star, yeah. old man cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those cars that are be dead in about 10 years that no one will buy again. <laughs> Not likely. Yeah, so it's it's on the scale of satisfaction. You know, we talk about dry ice all the time and that we would try to warn people, hey, it's physically demanding. You know, just just understand what you're signing up for. This is like the opposite end of the spectrum. It, this almost feels unfair. Yeah, this is super easy. I mean, time consuming. Yes. Like the weld, especially. Like, you cannot clean a stainless steel weld any other way. No, I just unplugged you. Yeah, you did. See how the sparks stopped instantly? There we go. We're alive again. And this is kind of nice. This is called the flexi head. So you can oh, that's bend cool. it, right? Yeah. Get into tight spaces. Mm -hmm. So it works out really nice. So I'm going to be replacing this exhaust, but oh. for the fun of it. Somebody's going to end up with a nice exhaust. You'll sell it. Yeah. And whatever you sell it for, it's going to be, it. be more than if you hadn't cleaned it. So OSFO is your gateway drug. This is your. Meth. You know, yeah, this is, yeah, <laughs> this is your um, heroin, yeah, right. this is full. <laughs> I think it's a little hot. You know, I actually use the solution to actually cool stuff down once in a while. But it's just, uh, probably the most exciting part about it for me is when you can get in the cracks and crevices. That was the, the thing that we were chasing with OSPO is you just can't get in there and have the effect. Probably the, the thing that people do most often is they stop too soon and then clean, you know, they realize, ah, shoot, I missed a few spots. So, it takes a so there's no, you, I saw you just touch the end of it. There's no, no, without the ground, without completing the circuit, there's no like electrocution risk. Nope. What happens if you touch the exhaust while you're doing that? Have I you tried that? I just had my hand on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, no issue. Water. That's fascinating. It's like freaking magic. Oh, it's so fun. I mean, how can you not like that? It's just like the weld. It's just the weld. I love the weld. What it does to the weld is just killer. Yeah. Especially if you have good welds, you know? Right. You have pretty looking welds then. It takes everything to the highest level. This yeah. is the final piece of the puzzle that we needed for underbody presentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We could do everything to the highest level at the factory, like the car just came out of the factory, except for the exhaust systems. Now let's we have try, that. Let's try this, yeah. this um, aluminum bracket Plate, here. Yeah. 
So it's a wear point, right? Mm -hmm. So it changes the way it looks. It's a little lighter, but it doesn't take off that. That's where that black rubber thing yeah. rests, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's the back side of the exhaust. Right. Yeah. yeah, this is the back side of where the exhaust goes. But this is aluminum, not stainless. Right. I think it's aluminum. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. This this is are you interested to see what it does to this stuff? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, this gets highly experimental. That's what we do. We like to look bad on camera. That's my whole MO. The worse I look, the, the better. better. You feel. The better it's you no, know, just the better for the, the world. You know, I've done this most of my life where I've like experimented this way. Yeah. And then when it works, I'm like ah shoot. That means I gotta do all that now. <laughs> yeah. So I've already dry ice cleaned all this area. Yeah. I don't think it's going to do anything. Yeah. It did. What do you mean, yeah? Yeah. It doesn't do that. Well, no, but but, but look at the discoloration yeah, right, difference. Right. Removing all that oxidation. Now, if you want to, since you're Mr. Experimenting, let's go to polish. I mean, you'd think it's the same process, but I think it's having a different result. I always feel like I shouldn't touch it. Like it's gonna get me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a definite improvement on there that. There is, yeah. It's not as life-changing as other, but there's definitely a different color. Yeah, yeah well, you, you can't see from this angle, but. Oh, uh, yeah, down there, yeah. All right, I'll be here for a couple hours. Just <laughs> see, you uh, see you later. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to dry ice cleaning. <laughs> So it's four thousand bucks for one of these. If you're doing like full restorative work or you're a professional detailer, I could see how this could make sense. For me, I think I want to just have one. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'd like to have one in the cabinet just to uh, keep all my exhaust looking awesome. And I buy and sell exhaust a lot. So it would also help me, and I always spend a few hours, or at least a few, you know, at least a half an hour cleaning up, like I just did it with the E36 exhaust, I cleaned it up with OSFO in order to sell it. Let's see what I got here. What is that smell? It's like something super familiar. That's so freaking cool. Neutralizer. Water. Yeah. I'm gonna be here a while. I don't know about this gas though. I'm pretty sure it's killing me right now. What are you doing over here? I'm rolling through this brush somehow. Does it like get like critical mass where it Like it went from long to, and I've been staying on the tips, yeah. not on the edge. Well, that's that's a little bit of a flat side. So if it gets sticky like that, you want to dip it again, cool it off a little. You're getting down there to the point yeah. where you're about ready to take that shroud off. This, this puts some more, uh, make sure I'm doing the right thing here. Real clean fluid, yeah, let's get you some. Yeah, we don't have quite as much of a payoff on these, on this section. Well, you, got, you haven't chased it enough. That's one of the hassles of the darker stuff. Like it takes more dedication mm -hmm. and time. But that's where the that's the impossible stuff that you can't get any other way. Mm -hmm. So that's where it, it does feel pretty good. So if you want 
Let's go ahead and take this shroud off. So how much are each one of these brushes? Uh, I gotta look it up again. I apologize for not having that. Because it's, to me, it's like, you can't do the work without them, so I don't yeah. really have a choice. So I wonder how many brushes it takes to do this. Two, two to three. So that the ones on the dual brush, that's how long they are to start? Yes. I always make sure I got a good connection. Mm -hmm. Seats in there tight. There, that should be pretty good for you. There you go. Yeah, that's a good motion here because you, you do have to force yourself to try yeah. to stay 90 degrees. Yeah, I have to, and I have to kind of wiggle it back on. like. And I'll do that usually with the rag. Okay. So that way I don't burn the brush up. Okay, got it. Oh, there it goes. Now it's starting to cook. Change. Yeah, it, it does. It just in those darker spots. It just you got to be dedicated and just keep working it, keep dipping the brush and you know cooling it down a little mm -hmm. bit. And that's kind of my benchmark is the noise it makes when I dip it in there. That was too long. And then if you got a weld, you know you'd want to turn the brush to mimic, you know the the 45 degree of the weld mm -hmm. exactly. If you want to do the fun stuff, I find satisfaction in the ugly stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah, knock yourself out. Yeah, I'm gonna do the fun part. It's way better. <laughs> That's the payoff right there, bros. Crazy or what? It's freaking cool. So, obviously, we're into the the margins here of crazy, but as you, I guess, as you tap out or or cap out your normal tool arsenal, you got to start looking for interesting stuff stay motivated, at least I do. This kind of stuff just makes me happy. So this is one of those things, I think as you get, you know, more accustomed to using it, if you're just hanging out in the garage, like, and you wanted to tinker with something, I just love having this. What's going on here? Sure, we're not. I guarantee we're getting freaking murdered by some sort of mustard gas. Look at that. All right, so I'm going to keep working on this. And I'll come back to you when I've got this whole canister done. I'll show you what it looks like. was gonna keep this exhaust I would have um, I would have taken it off the car or at least dropped it down off so I could get the front and back um, the place to do this I think is on the bench you know take the exhaust off like if you let's say you bought let's say you bought like a I don't know some classic car or something you couldn't get the exhaust anymore or you didn't want to go aftermarket and you wanted to restore it I mean what's cooler than that and certainly we could do some of this with Osfo so you could get some of this, you could get like a wire brush out, you could do other things, but um, I don't know, I think it's freaking cool. I mean, look at that. So really uh, for this video, the dramatic effect of when we do the final you know, walk around of the finished dry ice car, um, 
I know I'll have this pic these pictures and all that stuff of it. So that's what I'm excited about. But um, I think we'll probably bring the TIG brush to the store. I'll um, get one for myself. And um, hopefully I didn't die from phosphoric acid insul inhalation. <laughs> God seems to think we're okay. I feel all right. Yes. Actually, it's pleasant. I don't know why. It's just... Yeah. It's like when you put that super high octane like racing fuel in your car. On the, uh, health benefits here. You put the racing fuel in the car, you know. I keep like, getting on my skin. Oh. Ah, it's itch, like burning my face right now. Do that. You're supposed to put it in your eyes. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, more on the take brush in the future, I'm sure. I've got a little excitement around it. So I'm gonna get back to uh, doing some dry ice stuff, but um, we'll have more on the take brush here shortly. Thanks for watching.